Hi, I'm Mike Benton for HTC, and today we're going to look at some of the more anticipated features of Cupcake. Android 1.5, also known as Cupcake, supports a wide variety of widgets that you can place on your desktop. These include everything from an analog clock, calendar, music player, picture frame, search box, to any of the other widgets available in the Android market. One of the more useful widgets is the music player widget. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the Bluetooth stereo profile. So turn on Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, and if you have a stereo Bluetooth device like this Jabra VT8030, you can connect and pair to it and be able to control the media from it as well. Let's take a look. Okay, what we got here is the music player widget and a pair of Bluetooth stereo headphones that are connected to the G1 via Bluetooth. Pressing on play will play the music. Clicking on the artist name will take you to the now playing screen on the music player. Now what's really cool about these headphones, just to demonstrate, is when you open them up they turn into speakers. Now using the controls on the Bluetooth headphones I can forward the songs. I can also press pause and if I get an incoming call it'll pause the music automatically and I'll be able to answer it. Cupcake also has faster GPS acquisition. So my location comes up a lot quicker. Now let's take a look at some of the features of the on-screen keyboard. I have my hardware keyboard closed and tapping into a text field opens up the on-screen keyboard. Now as you can see the letter that your finger is touching is shown above your finger. Pressing and holding on any of these will bring up any of these special characters associated with that character. You can also switch over to numbers and special symbols as well as smileys. At any time you can press and hold on the 1, 2, 3 or the ABC key and change your input method or adjust the Android keyboard settings. Now remember if it's too hard for you to type on this little one just rotate your G1 and have a larger keyboard to use. Now what you've all been waiting for is the faster camera startup it's simple. Start up the camera and then press the menu key and you'll get a switch to video option, gallery, and settings. Go ahead and click on switch to video and the icon in the upper right will change. Pressing that will record. Let's take a look. Say you want to record your dog chewing on a stick in the backyard. Just fire up your camera and record away. Now when you open up the camera gallery, it'll show all the videos that you have recorded. Here's the one I just recorded. Now I can watch it using movies, or I have the Meridian video player installed. But for right now, I'm going to tap and hold on it. I get some options, play, share, delete, detail. We'll click on share. You can do it via email, Gmail, messaging, or YouTube. Now here it's just asking for a video name. For now, I'm just going to leave that blank. I want it to share with everyone. I'll leave the description there. You can add tags if you want. So let's click upload. Now up in the notifications bar, it tells us we're uploading a video. Now our icon has changed. And it tells us that the upload is complete. Upload complete. Now we can go watch it on YouTube. Okay, here we are at YouTube. Here's the video we just uploaded. Pretty neat, huh? Now there's a lot to look forward to in Cupcake with a lot of pleasant surprises along the way. Join us in our next video as we highlight many of the great widgets now available in the Android market. That's all for now. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And until next time, I'm Mike Benton for HTC.